Alright, so let's see what we see in Triss's house here. She's got some sweet rugs. Uh, looks like we can see little footprints reflected on the ground. So we've just begun chapter three, and uh, the game's already kindly informed us that there are five chapters in an epilogue. So, um, let's see if you talk to Vivaldi for here. I'm so. So, I, I guess that means that we're about halfway through the game. <coughs> it's decently paced. Um, there we go. What brings you? Goodbye. I thought I needed to deliver a message to this guy. Quest. Choose tower. I do want Fox Steam. Fight the banquet. Stay for MC. Directed Clops to Ferryman. I already have the MC. I just have to get to the harbor. Source. At least three minutes. Since there's one near Town Hall and under the sewer entrance at a third of the cemetery. I guess, uh, since that was a chapter two quest, it's probably over. Oh well, that's fine. Um, however, I can go ahead and place these sensors. <laughs> Society made me what there I am. We go. How much longer? Not enough pay for this. I say I'm surprised that they did include a uh, quick travel system because I don't feel like it was entirely necessary. Like you can get around pretty decently, um, just running. What's your story? They say you're a witcher. They're correct. And witchers kill beasts for coin? Generally, yes. Witcher. You asked who I was. Have a job for me? My uncle was slain by swamp monsters. He bore our family ring, which I value greatly. Bring me the ring for 100 orins. All right, I can do that. How fortunate to have met you. Where's your uncle's body? We prayed at the chapel. When the monsters attacked, my uncle fled into the swamp near the statue of the goddess. Farewell. All right, it tells me all I need to know. Interesting. Where's the fairy man? Back here, gotta talk at you. Trans Take me to times. Wait. How many times? But yeah, um, the quick trial system, although not entirely necessary, is very convenient. I'm really glad they they did add that. Um, like I said, just 
everything feels really well polished in this game. Uh, again, I know that we got some reused character models, um, but uh, that was kind of just a, a necessity of a small development team and a uh, lower budget. But um, they, they really uh, handle everything to a pretty top notch. <coughs> Oh, it'd be nice if I could skip this cutscene whenever I uh, get to the swamps. Every single time I look out into the woods, I don't see anything. But something sees me. Good sir. Do you need a boat? No, but I need you to take these vector blossoms. What? Yaren sends his greetings. I have the herbs. Finally. Here. Five beggar tick blossoms, as agreed. Four hundred orans, and give my best to Yaren. I'll be sure to. What do you want? I'll find you later. Cool. Hmm. I could just keep the four hundred orans, couldn't I? I guess I'll go over there and talk with Yarin. We did make a deal. I try to play a somewhat honorable Witcher. Uh, and speaking of that, this game is very famous. Um, actually, the game and the setting entirely uh, of the Witcher. It's very famous for its moral ambiguity. Um, I, we've already started to see some of that, where there's not really ever a, a good or evil choice. Um, there's often a, it's an evil and lesser evil choice, you know? And uh, the books do a fair bit of philosophizing about um, whether even such a concept can exist. You know, the idea of a lesser evil, pretty much all evil is, is evil, you know? Um, let's see. You guys are going to be one of the to switch to... Stab it! Yeah! Stand that one. I was just saying, I was, talking, I was talking about morality and I was trying to do guys. This is why I, <laughs> uh, I have a hard time doing commentaries on those places. Uh, I have a terrible attention span, especially when I'm busy with some of y'all. 